Becca, were you at the World's Strongest Man HQ? Yeah. So for the audience that are watching this, can you introduce yourself, who you are, job title? Sure, I'm Becca Lemon. I uh, work at World's Strongest Man. I don't know, what's the title we're gonna give me in this? Yeah, I think the floor is yours. I feel like we're gonna go commission. Did we said we said commish. We did say commish. I said when I come back, I wanna see a plaque on the door yeah. with your name with a commission. Just expert. a Bex commish. Oh man. Well, obviously we're here to talk about, you know, the upcoming World's Strongest Man, the date. Yes. And the location. Yes. Do I give a drum roll? Sure. Like we are headed back to Myrtle Beach. We will be there May 1st through the 5th. And this is exclusive news? Exclusive news. Yeah. There was a bit of a break. Okay. We uh, we had someone uh, get our news out a little early um, in Myrtle Beach, but this is official now. And so are excited to announce that we will be headed back to Myrtle Beach. So obviously last year, it was my first World's Strongest Man yes. at Myrtle Beach and you guys done a fantastic event. It was um, insane. It, it was insane. I mean, the fans came out, everybody was there at 4.30 a.m., 5 a.m., lining up for the first event. It was crazy. And the best attitudes of anybody oh. that you've ever seen at four o'clock in the morning. Uh, and for me, coming from, obviously, the world of bodybuilding, uh, jumping off the bus, yeah. uh, I, for myself personally, didn't expect to have the welcome I did from the World's Strongest Man fans. You know, everybody was shouting my name, come rain or shine, they stood there for hours and they kept the enthusiasm from the morning until, oh my gosh, to the end of the day. We've got the best fans. And Truly. we're hoping this year to make the experience way more enjoyable for them. So what's gonna be different this year compared to last year? Yeah, so this year the setup will be different. We'll be in the same area, yep. but the venue is much more built out. So we're going to have one stage this year instead okay. of two. So we will have three seating structures where you will have a better vantage point of the athletes. You won't need to get on a ladder to see over people's heads. Hopefully this time you will have a place and a seat uh, to watch and view. We will have a more robust fan experience. We're also going to have a screen in the fan fest. Yeah. So if you're not able to view or weren't able to get a ticket, we still want you to come out. There's still gonna be opportunities to engage with the athletes to you know, hear from some of the mm -hmm. fun people within the strongman community. I'm thinking of our tournament director. I'm a space that you uh, you know, and, and to get out and have that strongman experience, and we, we want that. And so I think, mm -hmm. you know, over the past few years, we've really seen our fans come out and mm -hmm. evolve. And um, I think, you know, coming out of COVID, we were a little nervous about who was going to come out mm -hmm. for it, and our fans have showed up. Oh, they came out. And it was huge. It was huge. The energy was amazing. It, we it just was. want to keep that coming. Absolutely. Myrtle Beach obviously was the success last year, so what is special about Myrtle Beach that, yeah, that takes you back? We loved Myrtle Beach last year. We do like to do a couple of years in, in each place when we can. Um, there's a lot that goes into planning World's Strongest Man. And I think a lot of people don't realize some of the specifics that we've got to look out for. So. Uh, my favorite part of any site visit is when we have to scout hotels for the athletes. Because what you don't realize is that there are a lot of specifics that we have to look for. Tell us about that. If you're gonna find a hotel for 32 of the strongest men in the world, you have to ensure that the toilet is attached to the floor and not the wall. See, I didn't know this. This, yeah. was, this was news to me last year. Yeah. Well, when you, you guys were telling me this, this is wild. So. It's our favorite part is that usually if it's anchored to the wall, the anchor isn't strong enough necessarily to hold the capacity of a strong man, especially when there can be a significant amount of pressure on the toilet in those situations. Significant amount of pressure. I feel like that's the safest way to say, say that. Say PG, I yeah. would say that, yes. We have to look at the shower size, so we bring a guy with us who's like six foot four just so he can like pretend to shower so we can see you know can they bend over is it going to be safe are we going to have some broken glass what's going to happen in shower situation we want athletes to feel clean and feel like their best selves going into this so also poop we'd like to make sure that they can shower and you know the three s's <laughs> <laughs> which are no it's okay we'll leave it off we'll leave it off so I had a lot of great memories from last year. Yeah. What is one of your favorite memories working with World's Strongest Man? I think for me, my favorite memory working with World's Strongest Man has just been the camaraderie. Mm. I think every year we refer to it as like, 
the family reunion. Just like, you know, it's all of your cousins and all of your uncles and everyone's sort of back together again and it's the craziest crew. And I think after my first year, it has just been the best feeling to walk back into a World's Strongest Man event, no matter where in the world you are, to get those like big embraces. And you know, they're strong men. Those are some really oh, big embraces. Big embraces. And it's really nice. And it feels so good just to be back with everyone. Yeah. I mean, there are like the historic awesome moments that I've gotten to see. Tom Stoltman winning, I think I was just an absolute ball of emotion for the first time. Luke told me he saw me crying. I was like streaming out of my sunglasses trying to be cool. <laughs> Seeing someone who had worked so hard to get there was so awesome. Um, this year, the crowd at Myrtle Beach and the energy, I mean, we were laughing when it was raining and the fans weren't moving oh. anywhere. Everyone just wanted to stay where they were. And the energy and enthusiasm was Awesome. Yeah, it truly was. And again, as it was my first strongman, the, the bar was certainly put so high. And I'm, I'm so excited for, for this next coming strongman yeah. and World's Strongest Man event. There's there's so many things that um, I've been privy to being told yeah. that I cannot wait for the team to break yeah. in the next couple of months. I think, you know, we've got some really exciting events coming up this year. Uh, that's all still being worked out, but I think we're really excited about what those will look like. Um, I think our fans are going to think they're a lot of fun. Yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of moments for fans to engage with the athletes. We know that's one of the best parts of Strongman is that Strongman starts in car parks mm -hmm. in the UK, parking lots in the US and that exposure and familiarity that you can get by just sort of being next to someone and watching them compete in these incredible feats of strength is the best. And so uh, we don't wanna lose that. I think mm -hmm. that's a really cool organic part of the sport is just that fan to athlete Absolutely. interaction and that so many of the athletes started as fans, started watching the show, started seeing someone from the local gym compete and then realized like, this is something I want to get into. Mm. Um, and I think we want to continue to build on that community and keep that alive. And for me personally, as I said, the fan engagement last year was incredible and you're bringing more to, to this year's World's Strongest Man. And that's the exciting thing. Um, as a fan myself and getting to, a chance to you know, be behind the scenes as well as hold the mic and interview some of the best of the best legends. This next year's strong, World's Strongest Man is going to surpass all years and uh, I'm excited for the fans too. It's fun to, to hang out with the legends though, right? Yes. So like, you know, best moments the World's Strongest Man. I think one of my favorite was meeting Magnus for Magnuson for the first time. Okay. I mean, that's a guy that like we all grew up watching. Mm -hmm. I remember calling my older brother being like, I just hung out with Magnus. <laughs> And uh, Magnus sent me an email, you know, afterwards I had followed up about something. Yeah. He said, yours in strength. And I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Magnus for Magnus and just sent me an email signed yours in strength. Yeah. Um, and so get it, I think, you know, again, getting to know the legends, getting to see people like Magnus um, and those newcomers like Hooper who are out there, you know, proving themselves. It's such a great cast of characters, um, such an incredible, crew of people. Absolutely. We always say that they're, they're strong men, but their hearts are stronger. Absolutely. And, and you can see the enthusiasm from the commission herself. Oh, goodness. If, if this isn't the biggest fan in this room, I don't know who is. So. I mean, it's on the shirt, It's right? on the shirt. But again, you're steering the direction of the world's strongest man as a, as a fan and also as somebody who was putting the production hat on. And um, from me to you and all the fans, I want to thank you personally for all you're doing. Thank you. And I'm excited for what's to come. Thank you for your support. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. I think from the Kamesh Flax Lewis, World's Strongest Man HQ, we are out.